So Lux is a manufacturer in Elkhart, Indiana that prides themselves on making very high-end but very luxurious and well-accommodated high-quality fifth wheels. These are definitely not what I would consider to be entry-level for folks who are just getting into RVing, um, unless you simply want to go straight to the top and pay for the very best. What you generally will see with a product like this is your typical buyer who has probably been RVing for a while and really understands what that final coach for them is going to be. The one that they're going to stick with for the rest of their time RVing and the one that they're probably going to spend the most amount of time in. So guys, I am here with Ed Kiefer, who is in charge of the marketing department here at Lux RVs, correct? Yes, that's correct. Yep, and Lux is a brand that the RV factory actually produces, right? So the business is the RV factory, and Lux is the name of the product. Yes, exactly. Ed, we are in front of this massive toy hauler. This thing is simply huge. I don't know if I can fully really explain how large this is. So how long is this specific unit, and what's the model number? This is a 48 FB. This is a 16 foot garage toy hauler, luxury toy hauler with a side patio. 48 feet long? So it's just a little bit over 48 feet. That is, that's huge. Guys, that's approaching semi tractor trailer length. This thing is simply massive. Let me step back here real quick so you guys get kind of an idea of really how large this unit is. That is crazy. So could you take a moment and kind of walk us through and around this unit so we can see, again, what makes this product so special? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can start here at the front. This cap is a one-piece fiberglass cap, and it's also insulated very well. We take okay. a lot of, of time and pride in our insulation process. So is this a full-time rated RV? Are you able to live out of this RV? Absolutely. And that's a big difference because people will list four seasons. Sometimes they'll even list full time, but it's not warranty or really rated to really be lived in as a residence. And your units, that's one thing that I've heard is that your product can actually be lived in as a full time resident if you want to live in one of these things. Definitely. We've seen a definite rise in the percentage of full time livers. Um, I'd say probably about 60% of our customers are full timers. Oh. They even sell their homes uh, to purchase one of these units. Well, and it makes a lot of sense, and this kind of goes to the point that I made originally, that when you graduate to a Lux, you're graduating to really that final home. You're graduating to that last RV you plan on purchasing for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Great. Let's continue on. Even though this is a very huge, heavy unit, mm -hmm. you're getting a very good marriage between the hitch pin and the independent suspension with the automotive brakes in there. Okay. So you're getting a very smooth ride with that marriage. So you're saying that this utilizes the Moride rubber pin box, Moride independent suspension system and the disc brake system as well? Yes. Okay, so this has all of the uh, upgrades you need to properly tow one of these. This is where your generator prep your generator, these are options that you can get. We've really tried to organize this for the end user. So it makes it easier. You got your, your leveling system hydraulics in there that are all color coded. Very clean. That's something that I always like to see when I look at a higher end fifth wheel is how everything is set up in a way that is serviceable clean, easy to manage, and when you look at something, you know specifically what you're looking at, and you don't have to feel around and track a wire down to see what it's for. That little unit right up there, that's a converter, and, and the box around it, this is actually a customer suggestion that we took into hand. We used to have the, the converters or the inverter mounted on the wall, which was a little bit inconvenient for the customer. The customer says, hey, Make this a little bit more convenient so I can get to it. So we listened to the customer and we made the, made the change and there it is. That's very nice. That's always good to know you're dealing with a company that takes what their customers say seriously. And I guess you have to as well because you produce products specifically for a customer to come and pick up. So 
they're dealing with you, right? They're not dealing with some dealership that doesn't know why you did something a certain way. You have the opportunity to explain to your customers why you did it a certain way. Exactly. So Ed, let's go ahead and open up the storage compartment here on the connection side to show folks just how large of a cavernous space they have in here. This is huge. And one thing I notice, steel construction, right? So all of this appears to be steel. Yes. I see the LED lighting strip right here. And I've also seen some of the construction perks behind your frame, that it's actually reinforced back behind this storage and not just off the front as well. And I also like how you use the hydraulic arms to lift up this portion. Now, of course, you couldn't flip it up all the way or you'd hit the slide right here, but just the fact that you have these nice sturdy hydraulic arms as well as the much thicker baggage doors. These doors are about an inch and a half thick, so it's definitely a more robust, solid door along with some very robust slam latches as well. And then here is the water station. Very nicely done, very clean. Everything's well laid out and use high quality components in here. Okay, so one thing Ed wanted me to do was bang on the wall a little bit just to feel how thick and solid. Wow, that really is solid. That's, that's like hitting a piece of concrete. That's really nice. And these are three inch thick sidewalls, I imagine? Yes. Really cool. So next thing we're gonna do is take a look at the frame. So this rides on a 12 inch I-beam and correct me if I'm wrong, but you have a 10 inch I-beam section beneath it. Uses a rack and pinion slide system, which I can appreciate. You can see the landing gear back here. This is all hydraulic landing gear. Now probably one of the most standout features that I didn't talk about is the automotive grade paint that they put on these. Simply beautiful. Is this a custom paint job or is this one of the paint job options that any buyer would be able to, to opt with? The, the scheme is what we offer as far as colors. There's a lot of customization that and personalization you can do. You can match your truck. If you bring us a paint chip, we can match your truck and put just about any kind of color that you want. It's beautiful, beautiful paint job too. This is a three axle setup. It looks like they are using the Goodyear G114 tire. So this is the best Goodyear tire you can get. So Goodyear makes a few different models for trailers. Um, two of their higher end ones being an all steel rated tire and then kind of their entry level into this space would be the new Goodyear Endurance. But these are the all steel rib rated tires. These, I believe, have like a 4,400 pound rating per tire. And then again, you don't see any equalizers because this utilizes the Moride independent suspension system. So each tire has the ability to articulate by itself. Whenever you're towing something like this, you're going to want to be sure to flat tow it and not have any type of an angle up front, which would be kind of hard in something this massive, because you do want the weight distributed across all six tires versus leaning back on the back tires. But these are absolutely the highest end tire choice you could put on a coach like this. So back here, you're going to have your fuel filling station. Essentially, if you use this toy hauler to carry around quads or side-by-sides or whatever you're going to have back here, you have the ability to stock this with fuel. You have a fueling station right here, and you actually have your fuel nozzle right there to put fuel in whatever you're going to need to. Let's take a moment and look at the numbers on this specific unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 24,000 pounds, which is actually a little lighter than I thought it was going to be. So that's a plus. It has 17 and a half inch H rated tires, which are the Goodyear G114 tires, 125 PSI. And this has a cargo capacity of 3,150 pounds. So coming around to the park side, you can see it has a main slide right here, followed up by a patio that folds down off of the side along with some scene lighting above it and that kind of illuminates this whole area, as well as an LED light strip beneath that. Then on the back, it has a very innovative back area. So typically you aren't gonna have this type of a tent set up and you have the awning, but this actually converts it into almost like a screen room. This is really cool. So stepping up the LCI solid step into this coach, wow. This is beautiful. You know, this is pretty much synonymous with what you expect from Lux. 
I've seen several of their RVs on videos, but I've never actually been in one. But you hear about things that I'm looking at now, such as the countertops, the backsplash, the lighting, the cabinetry. It just really screams residential and high end. Has a full size residential refrigerator, plus an interesting dinette. So, this is a booth, but at the same time, they wrapped it. It feels and looks a lot like a Class A, something you might see in, you know, a large motor coach, a bus, um, simply because you get those real plush looking seats, real high end leather. It's just a nice, again, more of that Class A motor coach feel to the whole dinette area. Nice kitchen area. Another area that they've done a good job. In a lot of toy hauler kitchens, they may have a similar setup right here, but it's very cramped. Everything is kind of shoved together. You have full depth countertops here, huge sink, as well as a nice cooktop. Does not have an oven though. That's one thing I've noticed. Now, is an oven optional if somebody wants an oven? Yes. What I have you seen? I've seen a lot of, especially on the higher end side, people are deleting the oven and they're going with either an induction cooktop. But what some people have told me is that they do that because the microwaves tend to be convection microwaves now, and if you're gonna do baking, they do the baking in the microwave. And one of the interesting things is, if this product, this, this specific coach wasn't equipped with the oven, it's likely because the owner, the person buying it, didn't want the oven. Exactly. Right. So people may look at this and they're going to say, well, I don't want this coach because it doesn't have an oven. But the fact is that this specific coach was probably specced out without an oven by the person buying it. So they're going to have a reason for that, of course. So I am guessing that this is going to be a half bath. So the half bath is in here. Nice amount of legroom. This is generally an area that you definitely are gonna suffer in toy haulers, but they did a good job here. A lot of lighting control here. You have your rear air conditioning control here, as well as your controls for your fantastic fan. Traditional toy hauler in the back right here where you have your kind of fold down chairs. This is gonna be kind of a mixture of a seating area, a bed, as well as a dinette if you want. And then above it, you're going to have another bed. And this is really great if you have a lot of people that go with you, especially kids. They love these things, and they motorize and go up to the top. And your ramp door back here. You know what? I want to take a look inside this Moride tent thing. So this is really cool. I could absolutely see how kids would love to be in here, especially if you set up sleeping bags in here. Maybe a little portable TV or something that they can watch a movie on. It's going to be great if you are in an environment where the temperature is mild and it's just a wonderful evening outside. Or if you're near the ocean, this would be awesome. This whole area here is a, a moon roof. Oh, wow. That is cool. So you retract Sweet. this back and you can see straight through the top of it, even on a maybe a misty day or a slightly wet day. Right. Working our way back up. You can see the track system on the floor to anchor down whatever you have. Plus you have a huge subwoofer up here in case you want to be the envy of the RV park. Your third air conditioning system back here. And your loft. So I'm not going to climb all the way up, but I will take a cool picture of it. Now this is cool because the loft is interesting. It overlooks kind of the living room area, and this is something that's a little different. This would be really great if you have a bunch of little kids and you're watching something, maybe a movie, and they can all kind of just lay down on their pillows and watch the TV. That's really, really cool. Let's take a look at the restroom. So this has to be one of the nicest bathrooms I've seen in a fifth wheel. Beautiful countertops. I really like the contemporary nature of the medicine cabinet. All the lighting, and only some of the lighting is on right now, and it's really bright in here. One piece residential shower, tub. That's really nice. You typically aren't going to see a tub in a shower. In this specific case, this absolutely looks like a residential unit. Plus, of course, porcelain toilet. Something I should have pointed out earlier, but I'm pointing out now, is the flooring. So what type of flooring goes through here? That's a, a hand-laid laminate flooring, just like you would have in a residential home. Okay, so that's very nice. So the flooring is definitely a step up from your traditional fifth wheel, which usually use a rolled uh, linoleum. This is definitely a step up to a residential type flooring system. So that's very nice. 
You know, in the process of closing this door, you kind of feel the weight and you realize that these aren't your traditional hollowed out RV doors. This is a solid core door. It feels very heavy, just like you'd see on your home. Okay, stepping into the master suite. Very well laid out. This is nice. I like the tall slide heights. So you definitely have a lot of head space in here. How tall are you? I'm six foot. So you're six foot and you still have at least five inches of clearance above your head. And that's where it's actually slope, sloping down. So if you came over here, you'd have quite a bit more because you can see the gradual slope right there. Also, you got a good amount of space on each side of the bed to get on the king size bed. Very nice window valances. So let's take a look at the washer and dryer area, I take it. Yes. All right, and that is a sizable area too. The TV's in here, so if you want to go in the closet to watch TV, you can. Or you can just open up this little cabinet and pull the TV out the way you're supposed to. But if you're the husband and you get in trouble and you need a place to watch TV, I suppose you can go in there. And you have all of your wardrobe space right here. Very nice. A lot of space. A lot of lighting, too. It's one thing you guys do very well is you put a lot of lighting in your coach. So he just asked me to check out the drawers. Wow, that is very nice. These are all solid wood drawers, aren't they? It's solid hardwood, yep. it's, um, maple and, hardwood. And you also put the slide mechanism on the bottom as opposed to the sides so they're hidden. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing they are the slow closed drawers. So that's really cool, which means you can't slam them essentially. You, you close them and then they gradually close themselves. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick walk around of this Lux 48 FB, which is the 48 foot front bedroom, slightly longer than 48 feet. This is a really cool unit. And if you don't mind me asking, what would one of these generally price out at? You're, you're looking at a base price of, I believe it's $129,999. Okay. And then as you get your options, it'll go up from there. Okay. Does the base price generally include the full body paint on it as well? Yes. Okay. What kind of options would you generally say you would add to it? Does it come with a generator or is that an option? That's an option. Okay. And as far as I'm sure the Moride little tent in the back is going to be an option. Um, you were telling me how some of the suspension upgrades, if they wanted to go to the Moride system versus the uh, Torflex system, that that would be an upgrade as well. Right. So there are some upgrades that you can get, but I can't imagine that the upgrades are going to really make the price skyrocket. In a product like this, it seems as if a lot of this is just going to come standard because it's just such a, a beautiful unit from the start. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you again very soon.